mistake. Now step up some crowns, quick! Leave him alone. And who might you be? Temple Guard undercover? Call me an admirer of law and order. Made a mistake coming to this town, eh? You're making the mistake. Leave him alone. And if we don't? This man's not worth your efforts. His shop's drowning in debt. You're right. Even looks like a pauper. I beg to differ. Don't even know why I bothered the bugger. My apologies, and fairly well. I, uh, got to go brush my teeth. Go home, merchant, and try not to come round here anymore. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I, I mean both, yes. Thank you, sir. <coughs> I'm knackered. Take it easy. Huh? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. White Wolf, they call you? You stand accused of offending religious sentiment. We've orders to take you in for interrogation. Surrender your weapons. Over my dead body. Told you we wouldn't fool him. Well, you're due a beating. It will just be more of a challenge. Remember the preacher who spoke of witches and witchers? A man you humiliated before his faithful. He asked that we administer a sacrament on his behalf. Your last rites.
What happened, kid? They... they... Hey, wait! The Grey Git? Grab him! Was it me? No way! <laughs> This damn lid won't budge! Gah. Whoever put it on the sarcophagus was clearly thinking about grave robbers. Uh, you've no idea who I am, have you? None. Professor Vermont John, Oxenfurt University, Faculty of Applied Archaeology. As a certain ancient map would have it, there's a priceless elven tome in this sarcophagus, the Darar Manuscript. It could shed entirely new light on the NL and Shay conflict. So, will you help? All right, let's open it. Blood of Chloe. Vampire. Probably regenerates here. <sighs> Just five more minutes. Is it 1358 yet? No. Then fuck off. Uh, I'm ever running into things like that. Well, come on, open it again. Why? See an elven manuscript there? Because I sure as hell didn't. I haven't the chance to look. Perhaps he enjoys bedtime reading and keeps it under his pillow. Fine, I'll open it again. What the? Again? Do you fucking plan to come knocking once an hour now? Enough! Known something about the manuscript. Didn't seem all that willing to chat. You may be right. Oh well, thanks. Farewell.
the tide of walking, the arms are tired of swinging. What's the matter? Woodland spook done took me mare the other night, and there I were, so content the war had spared her. A woodland spook? Aye, as my forefathers told it, comes at midnight, sprinkles blood on your threshold so as none'll wake, then it steals. Er, uh, would you search out my mare for me? Chat with the wood dweller, perchance he'll give her back. Horses disappear around here often? Yes, yeah, sir. Not many horses at all these days. Soldiers took all that didn't die. But my neighbor had a steed. Then two nights passed. Whoosh! Spook took him. Times passed. To a maybe a cow getting milked at night or a hen nipped here or there. But now. Uh... Interesting. How much will you give me if I find your horse? Give you a fifth of vodka. Sound all right? It'd sound fine if you changed that fifth to five, then added jugs at the end, then offered me the equivalent in crowns. Well, fine. Have it your way. Just bring her back. She's a grey mare, mind you. None too large. Even spooks leave tracks. Let me look around, see if I can find some. of blood and my doubts went this way No closer. Nothing here for you, Vatgern. Need that many horses? Your light brigade planning to charge straight into Radovid's camp? We need them to transport the wounded. Uh-huh. Local peasants must have charged you a bundle for them. If we could afford to purchase horses, we would not be starving. Gotta take one of the horses back to its owner. You sound certain, but should you be? What now? Will you kill what remains of our unit for one old nag? You'll give it to me, willingly. Take one horse. That I'll allow. War. War changes everything. Okay. I'm watching you. Let's go. Elaine Dale. What say you, sir? This your mare? Nay, not at all. She were grey, I told you. 
twice as old, legs as crooked as me dead wife's. Suppose I got to pay you more for this young un, but oh well. Thanks, so long. you even think to help elves in these times? I'd be amiss not to reward you, that man. Find me in the camp nearby. I shall have something for you. What a raid! War. War changes everything. Okay. Show me what you're willing to sell. You need only wait. We shall die on our own soon. Well, I'll be... Run, Roach.
slower. This means. House is completely destroyed, but the magic circle's intact. Looks to me like a locked portal. Wonder if I can open it using one of Aramis's items. Shared this discovery with Lambert. Fauntlets are immune to the smell of old cheese.
Something here. Where's that artifact Kira gave me? Deactivated the barrier. If this sword is as deadly as Aramus's Jesus, it's worth taking. Maybe I'll name it the Emmentaler. Jest, Master Witcher. I know the creatures are only to exist in fairy tales, yet I saw one with my own eyes as it stole from my stall. All right. So what's this imp look like? Like a mean, fat cat, but a very large one. Uh, this tall, see? And it walked upon its hind paws. What did it swipe from you? Once it was bread, uh, then a fish, then apples. Might not seem like much, but add it together and the business suffers. And I'm hardly alone in being pestered. It's nicked something from every stand in the square. So, will you teach it a lesson with your silver sword? Make it worth my while and I will. Demand for witches is high, supplies low. I pick and choose my contracts these days. Fine negotiation on your part, Master. So be it. We'll call it agreed. Relax. I'll help you. Small businesses are the foundation of a healthy economy, and so on and so on. Thank you, Master Witcher. I don't know if this will be of use, but most recently the thief leapt over that wall and ran into a passageway. It was the last I saw of him and a few of my wares. Merchant was right. Actually does look like a giant cat. Looks like the imp dropped some loot. Went this way. Wobbly. 
Need some overripe sheep's feet. Drop down into the moat. Trail ends here. And here. Boot prints start there. Could it be the puss in boots? Door's wide open. Interesting. A letter? Well, well. Our imp's at least literate, if not outright educated. Track him down. you too, fat girl. I know all I have have been most about no friend to you, but I dropped you decided not to go back. This is choice. If pain. anything happened to you, Tears we'd go hungry. Now, tankers too small, and the wages are too bleeding large. I want to walk. Rare sight. An elf and a guard of the eternal fire having a friendly chat. Friendly? Nothing further from the truth. This racist here has demanded to search me for no reason at all. You's a non human, I need no other reason. Lucky I didn't find anything on you. Now piss off to the woods, go play your flute. Nice scent. And here I thought temple guards were unkempt boars. You dare insult an officer on duty? Let me give you some advice, mutant. Look who's talking. I know you're a Doppler and a kleptomaniac. Merchants put out a contract on me. <sighs> Always the same old shit. Hey, wait! Really want to see an angry witcher. Do you? Damn, I look old. Let's dance. Please, stop. I surrender. Might be able to look like a witcher. Won't make you fight like one. You're donning your skins enough to know what kind of man you are, what you feel. You learn something, but not everything. I spare any monsters that aren't dangerous. Thing is, you attacked me, unprovoked, so that doesn't apply to you. Witches coming! Ah!
Help! Save me! I'm dying! What do you seek, pain giver? What do you need of, mate? Herbs. To rid me mouth of a horrible snake. Greetings, master. Problem solved. That imp of yours turned out to be a Doppler. Kept shape-shifting until I took its head. A Doppler? It seems we've no means to rid ourselves of this scourge. We burn one, another appears. A curse it pests. Perhaps now they'll give the market a wide berth at the least. I thank you, Master Witcher, in my own name and the guilds. Mutant! <clears throat> what? This when suddenly up he pops and heals me. That's <laughs> dance. of some sort. Get your feather. 
Just wonderful. is going to be unsuccessful. Come on, Roach. Faster. Hey there, sir. A witcher, right? Oh. Wait. Gone daft. Mixing a witcher into this. Witches help folk. Defend them. Maybe this one will help us. I go, go. Witcher's coming. What's the problem? Oh, nothing. On your way now, good man. Shut it, got out. He could help. Little Red's band needs to attack the village. Want revenge on Bertram. We haven't much, but we're willing to pay if you defend us. Who's Little Red? 
Word is she fornicates with wolves and can tear a man apart with her bare mitts. A she-beast in human husk, though some call her a great beauty. She leads a pack of deserters, two dregs, from different armies. The kind what knows killing and plundering well. Why does this band want revenge on you of all people? Because... Because I ratted on them to the witch hunters. Witch hunters care about bandits? Since when? Little Red's band. They was terrorizing our village. We had none to defend us. Finally, Bertram went by the hunters, asked them. So the hunters went after him. We had a spell of peace, but now Little Red's learnt of it all. Wants to kill Bertram. He's done for if you don't help. Fine. I'll handle the bandits. Go to your homes, bar the doors. Beware of them, Witcher. They're the dangerous type, truly. Witcher's coming! Just hire you. They did, to defend them from monsters, and humans who can be monsters. And you believe me to be such? Are you? Find out for yourself if you dare. Or give me Bertram. No one else will get hurt. What did Bertram do to you to warrant vengeance? Uh, mean they didn't mention this bit? Then listen. He came to me a half year back. Said he'd point out who's worth looting in return for a share of the takings. But sometime on, the bugger grew greedy. He wanted more. I refused. That's when he set the witch hunters on us. Lost half me men because of him. Now step aside, Witcher. This ain't your affair. We want Bertram, no one else. Give my word. Don't care much what you say. Take your men and get lost, or there'll be blood. Oh, there'll be blood either way. You just ensured there'll be more of it.
wonderful hiding ye gave him. You failed to mention she was a werewolf. Well, I mean, we wasn't altogether sure ourselves. But that's a good thing. It's what witches are for, innit? Killing monsters. Thanks for your help. This here's well earned. Curious place for a conversation about art. Anywhere is good for that. It's simply a matter of summoning inspiration. Vodka, for example, is a great aid. Care to drink with us? To poetry? Why not? I am a bit thirsty. And when a man is thirsty, melancholy strangles his soul. Poor Gascoigne! Gentlemen, I am so pickled, crocked, and stewed. <laughs> Want another term for your state? Don't be vulgar. What will our new friend think? Pour another. Fine. Last round for me, though. Vodka's gone, as are the troubadours. And my things. Damn it. That's a lot of bottles. We must have had quite the night. Foot 
footprints, fresh. Know what rhymes with wicked witcher? My things, before I turn you into mincemeat. Must be a slant, right? Shut your trap and give it back. So then, we are square, even good, yes? Not quite. We'll be good once you give me your things. All of them? You can keep your knickers. Is there a land where I might find more of your How is business? It was a bit of a lark, a jest. We meant to bring it all back. I swear. Is there a land where I might find more of your... I cannot express how sorry I am about the incident. 